Welcome back, everybody. Dave Carger back with you at the IMDb Live viewing party. Very happy to be joined by one of the stars of a movie that everybody is talking about right now, Black Panther. Denzel Whitaker is here. What's going on, Denzel? Hey. We just all basically exploded in this room when Jordan Peele won Best Original Screenplay for Get Out. Shout out to Get Out. Shout out to Jordan Peele. That's incredible. They let us get away with that. <laughs> That's what I'm excited about. And oh, man, Black Hollywood is stepping up. They let us get away with a lot. Let me tell you something. As anyone who's been following this year's award season knows, adapted screenplay, no question that was going to call me by your name. We all knew that. Absolutely. But original screenplay, that was a race between Get Out and Three Billboards with Lady Bird in a third place. But it was right. really between those two, and it could have been either one. Well, that's what we were sitting here talking about, because right. when you asked me, I was like, man, I love both of them, but maybe Three Billboards. Who knows? The Academy sometimes gives you that surprise. Yes. I'm still reveling in the fact that, like, Three Six Mafia got an award, so <laughs> we're just going to celebrate that. You know? Ooh, little hustle and flow reference by Denzel Whitaker. We're throwing Always. it back. Shout out to Black Culture. I like that. <laughs> Black Panther, you know how it goes. Now, before I ask about Black Panther and your role in it, before we saw Jordan Peele win, we saw Chadwick Boseman, mm -hmm. your leading man on stage. What was that like to see him at Our the Academy Awards? fearless Wars? king. Man, and has he been fearless this entire time? I mean, just looking great, carrying himself with prestige. One of the things I could say about like the Black Panther cast, obviously post all the hysteria, post all the numbers that it's breaking, is everybody's carrying it with grace. Yes. You know what I mean? It would be one thing for us to show up and show out to be like, hey, we did it. But no, it's all a, a, a grace across the finish line to say, we're not done yet. We're telling stories that are gonna change the entire gamut of the film industry and finally get to tell new, fresh, exciting stories. So. Yeah down from Chadwick to everybody to the top of uh, top of the head of production, Nate Moore, you know, uh, Ryan Coogler, everybody basically involved, or even Bob Iger and the whole entire Disney team, like. They're killing it. Yeah. But Black Panther and Get Out have something in common, both mm -hmm. February releases, yeah. but, which is considered like not the craziest, busiest time to put a movie out. You think it's the summer or Christmas, but movies like Get Out and now Black Panther, which is like one of the top movies ever gr to gross money of all time, it's exciting to see that a great movie can break through no matter what month of the year you put it out. Absolutely. I think if the content's there and it speaks to people, we're going to show up. What was your greatest hope? Okay, so you finish the movie, they show it to you before it comes out, you see it, you know it's pretty damn good. What's your best dream and hope before it opens on how it's going to do? So, funny story about that. Like, Black Panther is one of the first few films where I didn't read the script. And I say that because they wouldn't allow me to read this, you know, how right. Marvel is. Right. So I did my two scenes thinking like, all right, great, this is, you know, two pages. You know, I'm gonna be in the beginning of the film. I saw my one scene at the beginning and I was like, oh, okay, I did, that was all, I did a great job. And then, you know, I came back in the flashback. I was like, oh, this is a surprise. I, so I got extra content, you know? Oh, we're gonna talk a lot more, <laughs> but the show is back Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Stick around.